Hello everyone, now let us discuss about CPT coding guidelines for surgery, musculoskeletal system part 7. Here we will be focusing on the CPTs of hands and fingers. Now coming to incision. The first CPT of incision is 26010 which is nothing but drainage of finger abscess simple. And for drainage of finger abscess complicated you need to assign 26011. And for drainage of tendon shaft visit and or palm each you need to assign 26020 and for drainage of palmar bursa drainage of palmar bursa you need to a single bursa you need to assign 26025 and for multiple bursa you need to assign 26030 and next is 26034 which is nothing but incision bone cortex hand or finger the next cpt is 26035 Decompression fingers and or hand injection injury. For example, grease gun. The next is 26037. Decompressive facectomy hand excludes 26035. The next is 26040. Facectomy palmar. For example, dupitrine contracture percutaneous. The next is 26045. Facectomy palmar open partial. The next is 26055, tendon sheet incision, for example, to treat trigger finger. 26055. The next is 26060, tenotomy percutaneous single each visit. The next is 26070, orthotomy with exploration, drainage or removal of loose foreign body, carpometacarpal joint. The next is metacarpophalangeal joint each. And the next, which is given by 26075 and 26080 should be given for orthotomy with exploration, drainage or removal of loose or foreign body, intrapharyngeal joint. For metacarpophalangeal joint, you need to assign 26075 and for intrapharyngeal joint, interphalangeal joint, you need to assign 26080. Now coming to CPT of so the first CPT for excision is 26100, which is nothing but orthotomy with biopsy, carpo metacarpal joint each. Next, for metacarpophalangeal joint each, you need to assign 26105. And for interphalangeal joint, you need to assign 26110, orthotomy with biopsy. Next is 26115, excision tumor or vascular malformation, soft tissue of hand or finger subcutaneous less than 15 centimeters. If the tumor size is 15, 1.5 centimeters, sorry. If when the tumor size is 1 point less than 1.5 centimeters, you need to assign 26115. And the next is an out of numerical sequence code 26111. If the tumor size is 1.5 centimeters or greater. The next is 26116, excision tumor or vascular malformation, soft tissue of hand or finger, subfacial. That is intramuscular, tumor size must be less than 1.5 centimeters. And 26113 must be reported if the tumor size is 1.5 centimeters or greater. The next is radical resection. Here, if the tumor size is less than 3 centimeters, then you you need to assign 26117. And if the tumor size is 3 centimeters or greater, you need to assign 26118. The next is 26121. Facey palm only with or without Z plasty, other local tissue rearrangement or skin grafting. With or without. So that is included. 26121. The next is 26123. Faciectomy, partial, palmar, with release of single digit, including proximal interphalangeal joint with or without Z-plasty or other local tissue rearrangement or skin grafting. Single digit. Here for single digit, you need to report 26123. And for each additional digit, you need to report add-on code 26125. The next is 26130, synovectomy, carpometacarpal joint. The next is 26135, synovectomy, 
Metacarpophalangeal joint including intrinsic release and extensor foot reconstruction each visit. The next is 26140 sinovectomy proximal interphalangeal joint including extensor reconstruction each phalangeal joint. The next is 26145 which is nothing but sinovectomy tendon sheet radical. Flexor tendon, palm or finger, each tendon. The next is 26160, excision of lesion of tendon sheet or joint capsule. For example, cyst, mucus, cyst or ganglion, hand or finger. The next is 26170, excision of tendon, palm, flexor or extensor, single each tendon. The next is 26180. Excision of tendon, finger, flexor and extensor, each tendon. The next is 26185. Sesamoidectomy, thumb or finger. The next is 26200. Excision or curettage of bone cyst or benign tumor of metacarpal. With the autograph, you need to report 26205. And for excision and curettage of bone cyst or benign tumor of proximal, middle or distal phalanx of finger, you need, you need to report 26210. With autograph, you need to report 26215. Then exhibit is 26230, which is nothing but partial excision bone metacarpal. The next is 26235, which is nothing but proximal or middle phalanx of finger. For partial excision of metacarpal bone, you need to report 26230. And for partial excision of proximal or middle phalanx of finger, you need to report 26235. And for partial excision of distal phalanx of finger, you need to report 26236. Now coming to radical resection of tumor metacarpal, it is reported with 26250. Proximal or middle phalanx of finger is reported by 26260. And distal phalanx of finger is reported by 26262. And finally, 26320 is nothing but removal of implant from finger or hand. This comes under introduction or removal. Only one code is there under this session. Now coming to repair, revision or reconstruction. Now coming to the facility of repair, revision and reconstruction, it is 26340. Which is nothing but manipulation, finger joint under anesthesia, each joint. And for manipulation, palmar facial cord, for example, duprintile cord, post-enzyme injection, single cord, it is reported with 26341. And the next is 26350, repair or advancement, flexor tendon, not in zone 2, digital flexor tendon shield, primary or secondary, without free graft, each tendon. And secondary with free graft is reported with 26352. The next is 26356, repair or advancement flexor tendon in zone, two digit flexor tendon shield. Previously it was not in zone, now for 26356 it is in zone. And for secondary without free graph it is reported with 26357. The next CPT is 26358, secondary with free graph. Previously it was secondary without free graph. Now it is secondary with free graft. The next is 26370, repair or advancement of profundus tendon with intact superficialis tendon, primary each tendon. And repair or advancement of profundus tendon with intact superficialis tendon, secondary with free graft is given with 26372. The next is 26373, secondary without free graft. Exhibit is 26390, ex excision flexor tendon with implantation of synthetic rod for delayed tendon graft, hand or finger, each rod. And for removal of synthetic rod and insertion of flexor tendon graft, you need to report 26392. The next CPT is 26410, repair extensor tendon, hand, primary or secondary without free graft. And with free graft is given by 412, 26412. Next is 26415, excision of extensor tendon. Previously it was repaired, now it is excision of extensor tendon. 
with implantation of synthetic rod for delayed tendon graft. Next is 26416. Removal of synthetic rod and insertion of extensor tendon graft. Next is 26418. Repair extensor tendon finger primary or secondary without free graft. Next, with the free graft, it is reported with 26420. Next, if it is 26426, repair of extensor tendon, central sip, secondary, using local tissue, including lateral band, each finger. And with the free graft, it is reported with 26428. Next is 26432. closed treatment of distal extensor tendon insertion with or without percutaneous pinning example malix finger next is 26433 repair of extensor tendon distal insertion primary or secondary without graft and with the graft previously it was closed treatment of distal extensor tendon now it is repair of extensor tendon distal insertion 26433 with the free graft it is reported with 26434 next is 26437 realignment of extensor tendon and each tendon the next cpt is 26440 tenolysis flexor tendon palm or finger each tendon and for palm and finger you need to report with 442 next is 445 tenolysis extensor tendon hand or finger each tendon Previously it was flexor, now it is extensor. Next is two six double four nine tenolysis complex extensor tendon finger, including forearm each tendon. Next is two six four five zero tenotomy flexor palm open each tendon. Tenotomy flexor finger open each tendon is reported with two six four double five. The next is two six four six zero tenotomy extensor hand or finger. open each tendon next is 26471 tenodesis of proximal interphalangeal joint each joint for distal joint each joint it is given reported with 26474 next is 26476 lengthening of tendon extensor hand or finger each tendon for shortening of tendon extensor hand or finger each tendon it is reported with 26477 and for lengthening of tendon flexor it is given with 264478 whereas shortening of tendon flexor it is given by 26479 the next is 26480 transfer or transplant of tendon carpo metacarpal area or dorsum of hand without free graft and with the free tendon graft it is reported with 483 485 refers transfer or transplant of tendon palmar without free graft and with the free tendon graft it is reported by 489 the next is 490 open splasty superficialis tendon transfer type each tendon whereas 26492 it deals with open splasty tendon transfer with graft Next is 494 it deals with open splasty hypothenar muscle transfer 496 deals with open splasty with other methods Next is 26497 transfer of tendon to restore in intrinsic function ring and small finger for all four fingers it is given by 498 Next is 26499 correction claw finger other methods The next cpt is 26500 reconstruction of tendon pulley each tendon with local tissues whereas reconstruction of tendon pulley with tendon or facial graft it is reported with 26502 the next is 26508 release of tenar muscle for example to treat thumb contracture next is 26510 cross intrinsic transfer each tendon 516 deals with capsulodesis metacarpophalangeal joint single digits for two digits it is given by 517 for three or four digits it is given by 518 next is 26520 capsulectomy or capsulotomy metacarpophalangeal joint each 
whereas phi to phi deals with capsulotomy or capsulectomy of interphalangeal joint. Next is phi 30, 26530, orthoplasty, metacarpophalangeal joint, each joint. Next is 26531, orthoplasty with the prost metacarpophalangeal joint with prosthetic implant each joint. Next is 26535 orthoplasty interphalangeal joint each joint. With prosthetic device interphalangeal joint it is given by 26536. The next CPT is 26540 repair of collateral ligament metacarpophalangeal or interphalangeal joint. Next is 541 Reconstruction collateral ligament metacarpophalangeal joint single with tendon or facial graft. Previously it was repair, now it is reconstruction. And reconstruction with local tissue of collateral ligament is given by 26542. Next is 26545. Reconstruction collateral ligament interphalangeal joint. Next is 26546. Repair non-union metacarpal or phalanx. Next is 26548, repair and reconstruction finger volar plate. Next is 26550, polycization of digit. The next is 26551, transfer toe to hand with microvascular anastosmosis, great toe, wrap around with bone fracture. For other than great toe, single unit to report with double five three. Other than great toe, double unit to report with double five four. Next is 26355, transfer finger to another position without microvascular anastosmosis. The next CPT is 26556, which is nothing but transfer free toe joint with microvascular anastosmosis. Next is 26560, repair of syndactyl, which is nothing but web fimber, each web space with skin flaps. Repair with skin flaps and grafts is reported with 26561, whereas complex repair is reported with 26562. Next is 26565, osteotomy metacarpal and osteotomy phalanx of finger is given by 26567. And 26568 deals with osteoplasty lengthening, metacarpal or phalanx. Next is 26580, repair cleft hand. Next is 26587, reconstruction of polydactylus rigid, soft tissue and bone. Next is 26590, repair macrodactylia, each finger, each visit. Next is 26591, repair intrinsic muscle of hand, each muscle. Next is release intrinsic muscle of hand, each muscle is given by 26593. Repair is given by 591, release is given by 593. And finally, 26596 deals with excision of constricting ring of finger with multiple Z-plasties. Now coming to the codes of fracture and dislocation. The first CPT under fracture and dislocation section is 26600. Closed treatment of metacarpal fracture single without manipulation H bone. With the manipulation is given by 605. Closed treatment of metacarpal fracture with the manipulation with the internal fixation is given by 07. Without manipulation is given by 2600, that is 600. With manipulation is given by 605. And with internal fixation it is given by 607. The next, with percutaneous skeletal fixation it is given by 608. Next is 26615. Open treatment of metacarpal fracture single including internal fixation when performed each bone. Next is 26641. Closed treatment of carpo metacarpal dislocation, thumb with manipulation. Here we are treating carpo metacarpal dislocation of thumb. Next is 26645. Closed treatment of carpo metacarpal fracture dislocation, thumb. Example Bennett's fracture with manipulation. And for percutaneous skeletal fixation of Bennett's fracture with manipulation, you need to report 26650. And for open treatment of Bennett's fracture with internal fixation, you need to report 2665. 
Next CPT is 2670, closed treatment of carpometacarpal dislocation other than thumb with manipulation, each joint without anesthesia. Closed treatment of carpometacarpal dislocation other than thumb with anesthesia is reported with 2675. The next is 2676, percutaneous skeletal fixation of carpometacarpal dislocation other than thumb with manipulation, each joint. The next CPT is 26685, which is nothing but open treatment of carpometacarpal dislocation other than thumb, including internal fixation. And whenever complex, whenever the fracture or dislocation is complex or multiple or delayed reductions are performed, you need to report with 26686. Next is 26700, closed treatment of metacarpophalangeal dislocation, single with manipulation without anesthesia. Whenever anesthesia is required, you need to report with 26705. And whenever percutaneous skeletal fixation of metacarpophalangeal dislocation with manipulation is done, you need to report with 706. And open treatment of metacarpophalangeal dislocation, including internal fixation, is reported with 26715. The next is 26720. Closed treatment of phalangeal shaft fracture, proximal or middle phalanx, finger or thumb without manipulation. With the manipulation is reported with 26725. And percutaneous skeletal fixation of unstable phalangeal shaft fracture, finger or thumb, proximal or middle phalanx, with the manipulation is given by 727. Next is 26735, open treatment of phalangeal shaft fracture, proximal or middle phalanx, finger or thumb, including internal fixation when performed. The next is 26740, which is nothing but closed treatment of articular fracture involving metacarpophalangeal or interphalangeal joint without manipulation each. And with manipulation is given by 742. And open treatment is given by 746. Open treatment of articular fracture involving metacarpophalangeal or interphalangeal joint. Next is 26750. Closed treatment of distal phalangeal fracture, finger or thumb without manipulation. With manipulation is given by 26755. Percutaneous skeletal fixation is given by 756. Next is 26765, open treatment of distal phalanx fracture, finger or thumb, including internal fixation when performed. Next is 26770, closed treatment of interphalangeal dislocation, single with manipulation without anesthesia. And with anesthesia, it is reported by 775. Next is 26776, percutaneous skeletal fixation of interphalangeal joint dislocation with manipulation. Whereas open treatment of interphalangeal joint dislocation is reported with 785. Now coming to the quotes of orthodesis. The first quote is 26820, fusion in opposition thumb with autogenous graft. Next is 26841, orthodesis carpometacarpal joint thumb with or without internal fixation. Carpometacarpal joint thumb, orthodesis of thumb with or without internal fixation is given by 841, with autograft is given by 842. Next is orthodesis carpometacarpal joint other than thumb, it is given by 843, with autograft it is given by 844. The next is 26850, orthodesis metacarpophalangeal joint with or without internal fixation. With autograft is given by 852. Next is 26860, orthodesis interphalangeal joint with or without internal fixation. And for each interphalangeal joint, you need to report plus 26861. Orthodesis interphalangeal joint with autograft is given by 26862. And for each additional joint, interphalangeal joint, we need to report this add-on code plus 26863. 
Now coming to amputation and other procedure codes. 26710. Amputation metacarpal with finger or thumb. Ray amputation single with or without interosseous transfer is given by 26910. Whereas amputation finger or thumb, primary or secondary, any joint, phalanx, single, including neurectomies with direct closure is given by 26951. With local flap advancements is given by 26952. And finally, the unlisted procedure hands and fingers is given by 26989. Now, let us discuss an example. A 45-year-old presents to the operating room with trigger finger on his right index finger. Right hand, second digit index finger means and left shoulder bursitis. The left shoulder was injected with 1 cc of xylocaine, 1 cc of celestrone and 1 cc of marcaine. The right hand had an incision over the A1 pulley in the distal transverse palmar crease about an inch in length. This was taken through skin and subcutaneous tissue. The A1 pulley was identified with identified and released in its entirety. The wound was irrigated with antibiotic saline solution. The subcutaneous tissue was injected with marcaine without epinephrine. Skin was closed with 4-0 ethylone suture. Clear dressing was applied. And what are the codes for these procedures? Here, trigger point trigger finger is treated and left shoulder bursitis is treated with injection. So the first CPT is 26055 along with F6 modifier. F6 is a level 2 HCPCS modifier which indicates right hand second digit along with CPT 26055 tendon sheet incision example to treat trigger finger. Next orthosynthesis aspiration and or injection major joint or bursa. Here injection to shoulder joint is performed. For that reason 260610 along with 51 modifier to indicate multiple procedures and LT modifier to indicate the left side laterality are given. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.